Hi there guys, so in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to set up website hosting in South Africa. I'm going to assume that you don't have anything yet, you don't have hosting, you don't have domain name, you have none of this set up yet. Okay, and you can use any hosting company that you want in South Africa, uh, but I'm going to show you with the one that I use and that I recommend to all my clients just because the service is incredible. Now before we go any further, a lot of people want to know you know what is hosting what does it mean and the best way to describe it is by using a metaphor so it's like building a property if you want to build a property you need the land right upon which to build you need your physical your address you know your street name the number of the building etc and of course you need the building right so hosting is like the land it's the space but obviously in this case it's the space on the on the internet on servers i'm not going to get too technical but just just know it's the space upon which to build your actual building your website right and of course it's assigned an address for people to find it your domain your address is obviously like your .co.za right okay hopefully that makes sense okay without that you can't really have a website okay so what we're going to do is first of all so again hosting is the space on the net okay the company we're going to use we can set all four of these items up and i'm going to show you how to do it in under five minutes uh, so let's go with it. So again, you can use any hosting company you want. Uh, I have a link below this video. It'll take you straight to this page. So you don't get lost or don't get confused with similar named companies. These guys have been around for over 15 years. They rank number one on Hello Peter. And this is why I use them. Besides that, I've been using them for a while and my customers are super happy with them. You want to be able to contact their support and get help. You can go with a cheap hosting company, but there's nothing worse than not getting the support that you need. And I've got a bunch of horror stories related to that. You don't want that. You want, you want to have proper support uh, at all times. Just go over here, hosting. Just hover over that. You scroll down to web, uh, WordPress hosting, okay? then what you do is you come down and then uh they've got a special at the moment so obviously depending on the time that you watch this video this is recorded on in the beginning of september but uh, they've got a special where it's 20 rand a month for the first three months and then after that it's the normal rate of 99 rand per month okay and with that included is your free you know your domain name .co.za that's free with this hosting plan Okay, let's say, for example, you offer a service like that's your business and you just want a website that's going to represent that service, then this is more than sufficient. If you have a, if you want to build an online store, an e-commerce store, and let's say it's like, you know, one to 20 products, then this should be fine for now. Okay, but if you've got more than that, let's say it's 50 or 100 or more products on your online store, then you want to look at more of the WordPress basic. It's got a bit more space. Uh, it caters more to the uh, bigger needs that you might have. Okay, uh, obviously, if you've got larger sites, then you obviously you look at the other options. But for most people watching this video, you're looking at these two. Okay, so then what you do? Let's let's just assume it's this one here. And so we order that. Okay, so the next step is you want to make sure that your domain name is available. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to say WordPress free training and I click check. If yours is not available, you're just going to have to keep going and keep, you know, trying different domain names until you until it's available. So we're just going to wait a few seconds. Congratulations, wpfreetraining.co.za is available. So it says here it's an 89 Rand per year. Okay, the first year when you pay now, it's free, you don't pay for it. But every 12 months, your domain name, your, your address is 89 Rand per year. Okay, continue. So here's a summary. Okay, so it's telling you what you're going to pay. This is what you get, which is the hosting that we just went through now. You get one times free domain name uh, for the first 12 months. And then you get daily backups, etc. You can read that if you want. The billing cycle is monthly, right? And then just make sure you click on SSL. Okay, the SSL, uh, the, the free one comes with the with the actual hosting. Okay, it's this padlock. You see the padlock. If you don't have the SSL activated, then what happens is you got this. This has got like a red line through it, or you can have problems. Okay, make sure that is activated. Continue. So just make sure everything's in place. So you've got your domain name here, right, with your hosting package, and you check out.
Okay, so this is the checkout now. So like any other checking out and purchasing online, it's the same thing. You don't have to put your VAT and registration number. That's completely up to you and you generate your password. Okay, that's fine. So then you pay with EFT, bank transfer, however you want to do it and you complete your order. So obviously I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to make this purchase and we'll continue uh, after that. Okay, so you've made payment and now you end up back in your account with Host Africa. This is what you're going to see. Okay, so let's just recap where we're at. We've set up the hosting, we've done the domain, we've made the payment, etc. And now we are back into our account. Now we want to set up our professional email and we want to uh, just install WordPress as a fresh installation. Okay, so I'm going to show you how quick and easy this is and why I recommend Host Africa to all my clients because it's so easy. Okay, so what you do is you just come down here. You see here your active products and services. You see that? Just click on that. Okay, scroll down till you see quick create email account. And this is where you can create whatever you want. It can be support at whatever, or it can be your name, or it can be quote, whatever it is you want it to be, right? I'll just go with quote for now, and I'm going to put in a password for that, and I'll create it. It's that easy email has been created okay now the beauty of host africa is that normally we'd have to go in and now um, install wordpress but when we sign up it, it automatically creates the wordpress installation for you which is fantastic okay so in other words all we would do is click on visit website because it's a re installation is already complete for you okay so if you click on that you'll see it's probably not going to be launched or there's going to be nothing yet simply because it's a brand new account with a new domain so it takes some time to to render propagate whatever they call it so the point is oh there we go so sometimes it takes um you know maybe like 20 minutes half an hour and sometimes it does that okay so what you would do is if you go to the email your email your gmail whatever it is okay that you signed up for host africa with if you look host africa would have sent you emails access details for your wordpress hosting if you click on that you scroll down here uh here we go so wordpress information your wordpress login credentials okay to log into wordpress okay you go into admin url you see here just click on this it's your domain .co.za forward slash wp admin you click on that okay continue Sometimes it does this because the SSL certificate isn't activated yet. So just ignore that. Just go proceed. Proceed. So this is where you log in. You take your login details. I like to copy and paste. See, I'm going to have to change it after, the, <laughs> you know, because obviously everybody can see my login details here. But uh, this is just for the fine. Okay, so you just copy and paste. Username, login, and your password. You log in and you are good to start okay that's it so now you are logged into your obviously there's not much happening here because it's a new installation 